We now have the answer to the burning question. Can you tint paint with dye? Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, I decided I'm going to film an experiment on camera. So um, what we're gonna do is mix RIT dye, which is water-based, in with some paint to further tint it. This right here, beigey colored chalk paint. What I've really been wanting to make is olive green. Because I'm so cheap, I'm not gonna just go out and buy olive green, I gotta try to mix it first. I think mixing paint is fun. It's called Kelly Green, and like, oh my gosh, this stuff is older than some of you watching. I literally got this in my early 20s and I'm 40. Sometimes when things with color get old, they oxidize, uh, but it basically oxidizes and the color will completely change on you. So anytime you're working with um, colors that are old, you always wanna make sure that the color is still the same color before you go using it because oxidized paint is just so unpredictable because it like further continues to change color. Right? Without further ado, because I tend to talk a lot, let's get started. So let's see how this is going to work. It's really important to shake your paint well before you use it. I got my paint right here. Got my right dye right here. Um, I got my fingers crossed right here. To help us be able to make more videos and have the bandwidth to edit them and all those kind of things, it would be super awesome if you subscribed and maybe shared this with a friend. And I can tell that it hasn't like done any weird oxidizing because it is still green. This dye is really pigmented. Okay, I don't know if you can see much color gray, change. I clearly need much, much, much more green. So here we go with much, much, much more green. And I have more of this as well. So I'm going to dump the rest of it in here. don't know if you can tell, but the color is starting to change to more of an olive color. Got my other container of dye here. Um, way back in the day, I used to make hemp bracelets and necklaces and jewelry and all that stuff. And I would actually dye my own hemp with this RIT dye, so I've just got like so much of it left. And by the way, if you can see that my hands are dirty, they're not dirty. They're stained. I've been staining things and the stain just does not come out from around my nails. And no, I wasn't using the gloves. I'm going to dump some more in. I do quite a decent amount here. The big reveal. I'm gonna look at it on camera instead of looking at it in person. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna dump it in there. Clearly. Ooh. Oh, and would you look at that? That is very nice. So here we go. I might just pour the rest. I think I'm going to. I'm gonna do it. I poured it all. See, it's all in there, all of it. Let's see, do we have our olive green? One, two, three. It is looking like a lighter shade of olive green. We now have the answer to the burning question. Can you tint paint with dye? And as long as the paint is water-based and the dye is water-based, then yes, you can. So go along and tint your paint with some dye. Really cheap, sometimes you can get it at the dollar store. You can get RIT dye like at you know, Walmart or Rosars or whatever. Um, so if you have some old paint laying around, you don't like the color, and you're like me and you just can't like waste it, then figure out what you need to mix with it to make it a color you like. No matter what color you paint you have, if you have some different colors of tint, you can make whatever color you want. So that is it for now. Um, thank you for watching, have a great day, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you like the video, subscribe so I can keep making more videos, and um, paint away. Peace out. Did you think that was on camera? <laughs> <laughs> um, like, hey, we talked about this. We're recording right now.